Paulus' letter ad Romanus, chapter 13. Don't be thou being overcome by the evil, but be thou overcoming the evil by means of the good. Let every soul be subjugating itself to higher authorities, for an authority, if not under God, is being not, and the one's being are being ones having been set under God. Therefore the one setting himself against the authority hath withstood the enforcing arrangement of the God. And the ones having withstood shall receive to themselves a judgment. For the ones ruling are being not a terror to the good work, but to the evil. And art thou wanting to be fearing not the authority? Be thou effectuating the good, and thou shalt have praise out of the same authority. For it is being a server of God to thee for the good. But if thou should be doing the evil, be thou fearing. For it is bearing not the sword vainly. For it is being a server of God, an avenger into wrath to the one effectuating the evil. For what reason? It is a necessity to be subjugating oneself, not only because of the wrath, but also because of the conscience. For because of this ye are paying taxes also, for they are servants of God's service, attending continually upon this very thing. Render ye to all the owed things. The tax to whom the tax is due, the custom to whom the custom, the fear to whom the fear, the honour to whom the honour. Owe no man anything, nothing, except to be mindfully loving one another, for the one mindfully loving the other hath fulfilled the law. For the thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other command, it is being summed up in this word in the thou shalt mindfully love thy neighbour as thyself. The mindful love is not working an evil to the neighbour. Therefore, the mindful love is a fulfillment of law. And this, having known the season, that already it is an hour for you to awake out of sleep, for now is the salvation nearer to us than when we came to believe. The night advanced, and the day hath become near, therefore, We should put away the works of the darkness from ourselves, and we should enclothe ourselves with the weapons of the light. We should walk decently, as in day, not in revelings and in drunkennesses, not in beds and in indecencies, not in strife and in jealousy. But enclothe ye yourselves with the Lord Yeshua anointed, and don't be ye effectuating a forethought of the flesh into desires.